okay welcome to lockdown vlog number 13 um, let's check the weather as you can see it's just a cloudy day birds flying by um, perfect time to play some music and drink some coffee hey there you go birds in the sky okay let me change hands on the camera here is the remote um, I'll be talking about that thing uh, later on but now first let's play some music and now here it comes that one and only composition honeysuckle rose by yours truly little fancy fancy wall huh and here it is <laughs> Take it away, take it away, boys, we in the groove for it, honeysuckle rose. mate this is called an espresso and now we're going to change that and this is called an americano which is actually um, water and an espresso the official way to do it is the other way that I just did so first you put water in your cup then you pour your espresso on top of it and there's a reason that they call this an Americano and the reason for that is that in Italy with all the American tourists this was of course years and years ago Americans don't like strong coffee if you look at the movies you see them with the big pots of coffee in the uh, uh, in the diners uh, asking you do you want more and there's always big cups that's not very strong coffee and if you look at um, Starbucks most of what they sell is not espressos but all kind of espresso with milk and all kind of other things because americans in general do not like espresso so what the italians did in order to make it better uh, drinking for americans they uh, well actually they diluted it with some water and that is how the americano has uh, the, has its origin Okay, let me taste. Very nice. So I am going to talk about that thing, but before, let me show you something else. Check for today, 647 subscribers. Well, every day a few um, are added to this, so that makes me very happy. If you want to help me, um, the algorithm from uh, uh, YouTube, Google, is looking at time watched and thumbs up. So if you want to help me and you're watching this video, please give it a thumbs up and watch the whole video. This will help me um, because what the algorithm do is um, recommend your video to other people but only if uh, YouTube thinks it is interesting enough and that is based on how long are they watching and how many thumbs up. So if you want to help, that's how you can help. 
let's go further down here's my big friend again and yes i am rearranging my uh, record collection because now is the perfect time but what i wanted to show you is this thing you have seen it before in some of my videos this is from quad this is with the original uh, stand so the back where the uh, the amps are bolted in right there so that it looks like they are floating and um, this is the uh, preamp 34 this is the uh, tuner uh, uh, FM4 and this is the 306 amplifier this thing is wonderful I like the looks of it you have even older quad uh, equipment that is very popular but I don't like the looks of that and I'm very happy with this one and the reason that I'm showing you because this was made a long time ago and of course they um, changed this setup and that's the one that I'm having upstairs so let's go upstairs again So over here, this is actually the same as I have just showed you downstairs, just years and years later. This is the 99 series um, power amplifier, preamp, <coughs> CD player, and a tuner. And there's a lot of things that I like about this uh, setup and some things that I do not like but this is my next project today as promised will be the release of the um, review of the Wilsonton but I still have to do a lot of editing so that's going to be uh, at the end of today tonight I don't know um, let me tell you some more about this and what is interesting about that uh, oh wait let's start at the top as you can see here they have this little this is higher than this so why is that because all the equipment has of course feet to fit over here and this is so when you um, Put one on top of the other and you slide it backwards it will stop over here so you know that all the um, items are stacked up the same the same way lined up that's what i wanted to say now here's the rear and this is something different than what you normally see because you do have a lot of connections for the uh, preamp but actually they also have this what they call their quad link meaning um, I have one over here you have a little cable like this and this will be put this will be put right over there no over there going from one piece of equipment to the other one and that's actually all that you need if you want to make it a full quad setup so the CD player um, this one if I connect this cable I can get rid of the analog cable and it will be the, the sound will be transferred over here to the preamp and so all these connections are with actually non quad uh, equipment and as you can see here there is six digital inputs so you can use this as a DA converter and I'm telling you this is a really really good DA converter so you can put up to six pieces of equipment into this uh, system the digital uh, uh, equipment so if you have a very cheap DVD player for example you just uh, route the sound through to there 
And another interesting thing what Quart does is, let me see if I can show you right over here. You see the power connection right over here, but then you have this. So this is your input, but this is an output. So actually what you can do is have um, one other, um, let me see, yeah. What you can do is put power on this one and then put power maybe to the power amp. And if you were only using this pre and power amp, you would have only need for one power cable. Now the, um, the quad that I showed you downstairs has these two connections on every piece of equipment. So you could link them together and have the whole set being played by just one um, power connector. So this um, is my little tour of the Quad Series 99 set, which I'm going to play with um, for the next period because this is your last day, Mr. Wilsonton. Tonight I'm going to tell the world what you are about. Don't worry, this is a good amp, I'll show you. But make sure to watch. And that's all I wanted to say for today. Um, well, maybe not, no. The music, why the music? What I played for you was Fats Waller. I already showed you this uh, a few vlogs ago. I love this, I love this guy. This, what you heard, is music that was recorded some 90, 90, 90 years ago. I read his biography. I found this cheap in a bookstore in Berlin. And this guy was really living the rock and roll lifestyle even before rock and roll was was a thing this is a very interesting uh, read so that's what i played for you today if i want music that makes me happy i'll be probably putting on fats waller and the cd that i showed you over here because a lot of his songs um, are recorded on 78s so these guys did a great restoration on the music of Fats Waller and this is probably the best sounding Fats Waller CD um, that is out there. But that's all for today. I'm going to finish up my review, all the editing that I still have to do. And I'm going to say thank you for watching again and I'll see you tomorrow.